Hi guys, um, today I'm going to do a video that was requested by 97 Evanescence fan after they saw my top Evanescence songs and this is my top Epica songs. Before we go into the list, I will warn you, there are no songs from before the Divine Conspiracy. I just feel like Epica's sound really perfected that album onwards and that's the Epica that I prefer. I, don't get me wrong, I know and love the old songs, but nowhere near as much as I do the newer stuff. So, uh, at number 10, we have Sancta Terra, which is a good song as itself, but it's so much better when performed live with Floor Janssen. It just makes the song twice as good as it could have been, and I feel like they should have recorded it with her too. It just makes the song a unique experience, and I wish I could see that live, as sadly when I saw them, it was just Simone singing it. Don't get me wrong, I loved it, but I think Floor just makes it that little bit more special. Uh, number nine is three songs, but I've put them as one because they're not epic songs, they're just epic covers. And that's the Imperial March in the Hall of the Mountain King and Montagues and Capulets from the Classical Conspiracy album. And they also did the Imperial March on Retrospect, but I fell in love with them obviously on that first album. And um, I just feel like they add a little special something into the classical pieces. And it's also something that you could get more people into classical pieces by listening to the metal versions of them. Um, next, we have Internal Warfare from Requiem for the Indifferent. I just like, it's a heavy, fast-paced song. That's why I like a lot of their songs, to be honest. I prefer the heavier, like, fast, double-pedal, amazing. There's a reason that drummer is nicknamed The Beast. Um, Internal Warfare is one of those songs, again, just, it's great, powerful, strong song, very heavy. Uh, number seven is Design Your Universe, which is from Design Your Universe. Um, it is a single also by Epica. I think that might be the only single I even have on this list. Yep, it is. Um, and it's obviously their strongest single. And I just, I love it. It's just an epic ballad yet yeah, it's got those heavy elements in it and it just it has the best of both worlds the ballad world and the heavy world and it's just it's just a beautiful song really like like epic songs in general number six is stay the cars from requiem from the indifferent it's um again a heavier song and i really like the like um choir in the song that is singing like in the middle of it I just feel like that adds that extra again into the songs and it's just oh I, I can't even I'm losing myself I love the fact also that someone has the soft little vocals in the beginning after Max screaming I really like those little vocal bits from Simone and um, number five is the obsessive devotion which is from the divine conspiracy and it's um, also my favourite from that album. And it used to be my favourite song before I got the newer albums. I loved it to death. And I think it's got that nostalgia factor to it. And it's a brilliant Wimbledon song. Um, when I saw them live, me and my friend just, we went nuts. And just wimbled our little hearts out to it. And it's got like the good memory factor to it. Um, number four is Serenade of Self-Destruction from Requiem for the Indifferent. It is... A song that I thought was an instrumental piece because on my version of the album it is I apparently have one of the first editions with an error on so maybe that means my album's worth a lot of money I don't know haven't really looked into it um so when I watched retrospect and Simone started singing I was like what I, I, I was I was baffled I sat there on my own like what what is this song <laughs> and Turns out then that I found out I have an error on my disc and I love it. It just will, it will not leave me and my friend's head. Like, whenever we see each other, we're both just like, do, 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 Because it's that bit that just sticks in your head. You don't even need to know the lyrics. Obviously, I do now. But, like, even at, at first, that, that is just, it, that little melody just sticks with you. And, again, it's because of the... The story behind it, why I love the song so much. Um, number three is Twin Flames, which is the only ballad on my list, but I absolutely adore it. I think it's the sweetest little song ever. 
I've got to say it's from Requiem for the Indifference, but it's um, a bonus track, and I didn't get it on my edition. I think it's on the um, MP3 edition only. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't like looked into it, but um, on retrospect is where I fell in love with it. That's how I fell in love with a lot of epic songs. I will admit. Um, and it's just the sweetest performance by Simone, and the actual recorded version as well is lovely. And I'm not, even though I'm not really that big on the ballads, that one has just stuck, and it's always like one of my favourites to listen to. Um, number two is Monopoly on Truth from Requiem for the Indifferent. That is my favourite album, also. Um, and it's just one of those songs that is just bang and it kicks in, and you're like, whoa. Um, there's a reason they start their gigs with that song. There's a reason they started the album with that song. And I also, when I was teaching and it got requested, screamed, best request ever, and ran onto the dance floor. Because it is just, it's one of those songs with the power, like Simone's vocals at the beginning, powerful. The double pedaling, crazy heaviness, powerful. And it's just one of those songs that makes me want to dance. But not as much as number one does, which is my favourite epic song of all time. I adore it. It's my jam. People know this song because of me dancing to it at a rock night and just absolutely loving it and making sure that everyone knows that this is a good women song. And it's Matter of the Free World from Design Your Universe. I just absolutely adore it. It's so heavy and Simone's vocals are so sweet and it's got the like little... After the huge heavy burst at the beginning, it's got that little guitar part, which is like, woo, and I love it. I just I just love it to dance to, and that is why I love it so much. It just reminds me of good nights out and good memories, and I just can't help myself. I've got to dance to it. I've forced so many people to dance to that song with me. So, um, yeah, that's my favourite Epica songs. Yes, they might not have as much meaning to me as my Evanescence songs. I prefer epica for like say like dancing or listening to something a bit heavier and more for the fun elements but um i hope it, this this helped this was a good request and i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> bye <laughs>